All right, let's start this again. If you just watched this video, I forgot to mention a bunch of things. So sorry about that. Let's go again. Uh, today, I'm happy to announce a new channel, I guess, a new tag for Bluefin. We call this the stable tag. So to give you a little bit of history here, I've posted this on the forums and I wanted to talk a little bit about it. Um, historically, Bluefin has offered a latest release, which is the latest release of Fedora. So that's 40. And then what we call GTS, that stands for Grand Touring Support, which is what our default is on the website. So when you go to the project bluefin.io, you get the GTS version. This is Fedora minus one, currently Fedora 39. What we do is during the current version of Fedora, we're kind of watching it, using it, playing with it. And then when that version is kind of finished, but still in support, it becomes the GTS version of Fedora, which is uh, the default. So the idea there is my dad, if you have someone that you want to set up on Linux, um, you set them up with GTS and it's kind of like a slower, slower version of Fedora that's been around the block a few times and then vetted by people like us. And then that becomes uh, what we call GTS. Some of you have sent us feedback on this, mostly like, hey, um, I want to um, understand and like, I want the latest Fedora, right? So if you're a Gnome fan or a KDE fan, uh, you know, the kind of person that is an enthusiast, you read the Linux websites, having the latest stuff is neat, right? And now that I'm getting accent colors in Gnome, I don't want to wait until the next GTS. Uh, you know, you have to wait a year after things are announced in order to get it. Um, but we didn't want to give people just total latest uh, Fedora. Obviously Fedora releases when they think things are ready, but there is some things that we need to do to give us a little bit of time to tweak it, to make it just right. And I've always kind of been, you know, on the one end you have Fedora with its aggressive kernel updates. And then you have things like LTS, which are more backed off. I always wanted that middle ground and GTS was that uh, for me for a while, but uh, we were also missing things for enthusiasts. Um, so latest is not going away. That's going to uh, still keep happening. And if you're on an Asus or Surface device, you'll continue to use those images. But we are adding the stable tag. As it ends up, CoreOS runs the same Fedora kernels um, that Fedora has. They just publish on a monthly cadence instead of, um, you know, like when it's ready and uploaded uh, by the team. So this gives us an extra gate that I'm looking for that lets us run a little bit of an older kernel, uh, but I want the latest version of Fedora. And we're testing this to see what it feels like as a daily driver, because sometimes you want the latest stuff, um, but you know, regressions are a thing. Wouldn't it be nice if you could have that extra little gate uh, by your cloud folks? So if you see here, I have Bluefin DX stable. We have Bluefin and Bluefin DX stable with and without NVIDIA drivers. We are currently working on NVIDIA 555 as we speak. So you're gonna get that uh, two here over the next, I don't know, a few days or so. Um, and if you do a status, you will see that colon stable there instead of colon GTS or colon latest, uh, give these a shot. I'm moving, um, over some of my machines here. So if you want that, you all, you want to be on that latest fedora. Um, but you know, a, a little bit, a little bit gated. We want to see what that feels like. A lot of times things sound good on paper, but you know, you have to like try it to see what it feels like in practice. The second thing is that this channel will be publishing on a weekly basis. So uh, the Fedora Core OS kernel publishes once a month or, or twice a month, uh, it looks like, the average about every two weeks. So what we will be doing is updating uh, the image every week because we're not gonna wait two weeks to get you uh, security updates for the rest of the image. Um, obviously your applications and things like that will always update independent of the image. So we're, we're, we're talking about uh, the base OS there. We've, we're going to start with a week, see how that feels like. Bazite currently does twice a week. We'll see if we can adjust that. And that will be at a minimum once a week. So as we're adding updates and changes, uh, that will publish a new image. So there might be weeks where we're actively doing things where you might get more uh, updates. Um, these images, we're going to be working on making those Z standard chunked as well. That is where uh, parts of the layers, or parts of the uh, image itself will be compressed by Z standard. So we feel that, you know, instead of downloading all those updates every single day, cutting that down to one week, 
and then having those BC standard compression should dramatically drop the amount of bandwidth that we're consuming. And we think that's going to be real good and kind of fits with the vibe that we're looking for for the stable image. So instead of GTS and, and latest, we're hoping to have this uh, stable release here. I'm not really sure, uh, you know, the bets out whether what will actually feel more stable. Is it going to be the latest desktop with a slightly gated kernel or would it be the old desktop uh, with the kernel as it comes from Fedora is something that we're, we're kind of interested in, in uh, exploring. So if you're interested, feel free to dive in, give it a shot. Thanks so much for filling out the feedback survey. Uh, this should hopefully um, take care of those of you that really wish that uh, we were more vocal uh, about having, you know, the latest Fedora. And there's definitely that audience that wants, you know, that latest stuff. So uh, give this a shot and let me know how, uh, how you get on. Thanks for listening.